Hey, this is Ben with advice from a Pentecostal preacher. Today, I want to talk about things you can do when you have more bills than money. Now, I'm not a professional. I'm not an accountant. I'm not a financial planner. I'm not a physical therapist. I'm not a zookeeper. I'm an old man that has been through some hard times and I've made some tough choices in life that helped me live to fight another day. And that's kind of where the power of this whole message is, is you need to make the choices that are best for you. And in those moments when you have the ability to make a decision, recognize the power rests in your hand. And that's when you can chart your own destiny. As a matter of fact, you need to take ownership of your own destiny. And and there's a lot of things we cannot control. There are seasons and times when we just have to roll with whatever's happening. But amongst that, there are moments when you have the power to make a choice that impacts your life for the better. Now, when you get paid and when you have your bills come due, there's a small moment of time when the money's in your hands. There's a small window when you have the power to decide where those dollars go. And it's in those moments that you can chart your course, change your destiny, even if you're upside down. Now, if you've got more bills than money, you need to realize that that in this moment of opportunity between payday and payout, that you are the one that determines and decides who gets paid, what they get paid, and what it's going towards. So when you are in a situation when you don't have the money for everything, you've got to make the choice. And if I had to choose between making a payment on the rims of my vehicle or paying for food for my children, I think I'm going to buy food. But not only that, I'm going to realize that the rental couch that I've got in my house can probably go, that that the rims on my car can probably go, that, that my Netflix subscriptions can probably go. But there are certain things that I need to make sure I have because we need to realize that we spend this money on the things that are most important. So what's most important? Your safety, your security, your family. These are the things that are most important because if you are ever going to do more for them, you have to survive and be strong in and of yourself that you can keep working, you can keep providing, you can keep making those appropriate decisions to fight another day. So here's another point. Don't pay for something that is free. If you can get something free that helps you live to fight another day so you can save those dollars to pay on something that isn't free, why don't you do that? See, when you're in these deficit times, These aren't Red Lobster times or Olive Garden times. These are times to say, listen, I'm going to bank up, shore up. I'm going to take care of what I got to take care of because I want to live to fight another day. Plan your dollars. Spend them wisely. Control them while they rest in your hand. Money's just one. Money's nothing. This is nothing. This is a tool to help us move forward. And... If I can find another way to move me forward, I'll use it. Money's not evil. It's the love of money that's the root of evil. And when we misappropriate the use of this tool, we're showing we love it more than we love the function that we're wanting it to do. Let's live to fight another day. And let's earn more. Let's spend more wisely. Let's shore ourselves up. You can do this. You might have to do without a few things, but cover yourself, love yourself, protect yourself. There are things that are free. You can get all kinds of assistance for electric, for food, uh, for rent help sometimes, depending on where you live and, and the community you're in. Utilize those things without shame, but then also realize the things that you have. You've got hope. You can weather this thing. You might have to make changes and adjustments. Changes and adjustments are not bad. It's just change. Make the change so you can better yourself and live to fight another day. Listen, I'm going to talk too long. I hope everybody has a great week. God bless y'all. Be safe.